Hello, it's me, Ricky, and welcome back for another weather reaction. Currently, it's very hot here in Sweden, and you think, oh, how hot is it, Ricky? Well, I'm going to say it to you. It's about 26, maybe 28 degrees Celsius. And you would say, that's not hot. That's like spring. In some states, that is. The video we're going to watch is definitely all about the 10 of the hottest cities in the United States. And it's from a channel called Top 5 for You. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I strongly suggest that you do. You'll find the link for the video we're gonna watch, and of course for the channel located right down there in the description. Go there and give them the support that they so much deserve. I live in south of Sweden, and it's some summers uh and some days are super hot when you can reach just around 30 degrees Celsius. And for a Swede, that is very hot. We don't have AC here. And you might wonder, why don't you have AC? Because this is about a month. Then it's not even warm anymore. It's pleasant. Then winter comes. So that's the main reason why we don't have that. So we're going to find out how, how, how hot is it in some of the cities. We're talking about Arizona, we're talking about Texas, Nevada, and all those warm, or California for that matter. We're going to find out which one it is. If you do enjoy this, don't forget to smack the like and, of course, hit that subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Of course, we say thank you so much to the channel members and the patrons. Thank you. A big shout out to the Supreme Tier donators over by Patreon and, of course, on channel membership. Thank you so much. We got personal shout outs for the ultimate supporters and that's deja walt Dwayne, dana troy robert matt barbara and kathy that's it let's do this supposed to be super hot uh by the way i'm gonna open another window uh because i don't i don't uh i don't speak imperial system so i'm just gonna have the search thing going on over there so i don't have to guess because i have no idea so let's do this temperatures frequently reach well above 100 degrees fahrenheit in a number of the most populous cities across the united states making these cities among the hottest locations to be during the summer months here are 10 of the hottest cities in the u.s no so he said well over 37 uh well over 100 uh, fahrenheit and that is 37 degrees. We already, the normal thing for Phoenix is well over the, the hottest days in Sweden. Number 10, Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona is home to more than 1.6 million people. And the city often records some of the warmest temperatures of any large city in the United States. The end of May marks the beginning of the season in which the average daily high temperature is above 100 degrees Fahrenheit and does not drop below that mark until the middle of September. These searingly hot days are followed by pleasant evenings with the low temperature occasionally failing to fall below 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. The high temperature throughout the day averages in the upper 90s. In point of fact, on around 111 days out of the year, Phoenix encounters temperatures of at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It goes without saying that a person who wishes to live in Phoenix must be comfortable in warm temperatures. Number 9, Las Vegas. The city of Las Vegas is located in the southern United States and is a popular tourist destination. However, during the summer months, visitors may wish to make plans to visit areas that include air conditioning. Despite its status as a major metropolitan area, Las Vegas has a harsh climate that is best described as a subtropical desert. The Mojave Desert encompasses the location of the city. The winters are typically brief and not very cold, whereas the summers are quite warm and endure for a very long time. People who thrive in high levels of humidity and dampness may not enjoy living in Las Vegas. The city has a reputation for being one of the hottest and driest in the country. The percentage of relative humidity rarely rises above 10%, and the days are often clear, bright, and lovely. Additionally, there are a number of days in Las Vegas that are. I love how it says it's that. Well, it's just a uh, clear days and it's lovely. However, it's about a hundred and plus degrees Fahrenheit. Or hotter than a hundred degrees. 
It has Hotter. 78 days each year when the temperature is at or above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Number 8, Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, Arizona is located on the southwestern edge of the Sonoran Desert and has a temperature that is almost identical to that of Phoenix, which is located around 100 miles to the northwest. Temperatures in Tucson reached the hundreds for 39 consecutive days during the summer of 2013, making it... Oh, wow. So that's going to be... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tucson, Arizona is located on the southwestern edge of the Sonoran Desert and has a temperature that is almost identical to that of Phoenix, which is located around 100 miles to the northwest. <laughs> Temperatures in Tucson reached the hundreds for 39 consecutive days during... Ah, 39 days of uh, almost, uh, almost 40 degrees Celsius. I would melt. ...during the summer of 2013, making it one of the city's hottest summers in recent memory. Wow. This included the whole month of June. Thunderstorms brought on by the monsoon season can offer a brief reprieve from the oh. oppressive summer heat, but they are also capable of kicking up dust storms known as haboobs, which can drastically impair visibility and make traveling conditions extremely hazardous. I don't know why I like to giggle every time they say haboobs. I know, I'm... I'm Sorry. Impair visibility and make traveling conditions extremely hazardous. Number seven, Riverside, California. But Riverside, is that just one spot in California? While the cool waters of the Pacific Ocean serve to restrict temperatures around the coastal parts of Southern California, locations further inland might suffer much hotter weather than those along the coast. Every month from April through October, Riverside, California, which is approximately 50 miles east of the downtown Los Angeles area, has recorded temperatures in triple digits, with the highest ever reaching 118 degrees. This temperature is greater than the all-time record in Las Vegas. And 118 degrees Fahrenheit. That's halfway through the boiling point, and we're talking about Celsius. And it is only a few degrees behind the record high temperature in Phoenix. Number 6, San Antonio, Texas. More than one and a half million people call San Antonio their home. And during the height of the summer, the city regularly sees temperatures in the 90s for extended periods of time. More than 110 days out of the year, on average, the temperature in the city climbs above the 90 degrees threshold. And there are even numerous days when the temperature goes into the low hundreds. August is the hottest month of the year in San Antonio, with average high temperatures hovering close to 97 degrees, making it one of the main cities with the highest monthly average temperatures in the whole United States. Number 5, Miami. Even though the summertime temperature in Southern California does not soar quite as high as it does in the southwestern United States, the close proximity of Miami to the tropics can make the weather feel as though it is unbearably hot. This is especially true for people who humidity. are not used to the high level so high, it has to be levels of humidity that yeah. are typical of the location where they are located. There has never been a temperature recorded over 100 degrees in Miami, but during the hottest afternoons of the year, the temperature can surge to more than 110 degrees due to the combination of extreme summer heat and the heavy humidity. Miami is regularly one of the warmest cities in the United States. Even during the coldest months of the year, when temperatures in the afternoon can reach close to 80 degrees Fahrenheit on a daily basis. Number 4, Houston. The tropical moisture that comes from the Gulf of Mexico has a significant impact on the climate pattern that occurs along the coast of Texas. This is true even in Houston, which is the most populous city in the state with over 2 million people. The moisture that comes from the Gulf also contributes to the fueling of rain and thunderstorms, which helps to make Houston the wettest among the warmest cities in the county with an annual average of nearly 100 days of rain. Number three, Fresno, California. I like how it's so very specific towns or cities inside the state. That is this, you can go there, it's super hot, but if you go there, it's like volcano. Just right there, over there. The city of Fresno, located in California, is well known for its high temperatures, as well as its climate, which is characterized by scorching summers and mild winters. 
residents are forced to contend with the sweltering summer days and, to a certain extent, heat waves that last for many days at a time. It shouldn't come as a surprise that inhabitants of Fresno make investments in air conditioning systems that are both high quality and energy efficient given the region's harsh climate conditions. I understand <laughs> that. <laughs> Central Valley is the hottest region in California, outside of the Mojave Desert and the Colorado Desert, with temperatures that frequently reach the triple digits. Other deserts in the state include the Colorado Desert and the Mojave Desert. This includes the city of Fresno, which has a population of more than 500,000 people. In 2018, the city had the longest stretch in its history with 30 days in a row with temperatures at or above the 100 degree threshold. This was the hottest year ever recorded in the city. Number 2, Dallas. Oh. Because of its location, which is further inland from the Gulf of Mexico than that Houston or San Antonio, Dallas is susceptible to having some of the hottest weather of any of the major cities in Texas. Temperatures can be slightly higher than they would be near the coast due to the fact that they are farther away from the source of tropical moisture. From the end of June to the beginning of September, daily highs can range from middle to the upper 90s. The city of Dallas has colder winters than Houston and San Antonio do, with temperatures frequently falling below freezing. This is despite the fact that Dallas's summer heat can be even more intense than that of those two cities. No the, the, the change is in Sweden is that we get like super hot. For us, it's super hot. Then we get freaking winter and darkness for six months. So that's why we are familiar. Well, we're more familiar living in cold than we are in heat which kind of makes sense. Number one, Orlando, Florida. In case you haven't worked it out by now, Florida is one of the most depressing states to live in if you're not a fan of the warmth. Unfortunately, Orlando, which also happens to be located in Florida, is one of the hottest cities in the United States and happens to be located there. In contrast to the coastal cities of Miami and Tampa, Orlando is located inland and does not have access to the coast. It no. can be said that it is located exactly in the middle of the state. The fact that it is landlocked, in addition to having a very high level of humidity, is not migrated in any way by urban planning. At least Orlando is home to a number of well-known vacation destinations geared towards families such as Disney World and Universal Studios. Throughout the summer months of June through September, the low nighttime temperatures almost never fall below 60 degrees. Additionally, Orlando's climate is mild throughout the winter, with highs in the 70s during the day and lows that seldom fall below 30 degrees Fahrenheit at night. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching. Alright, uh, kind of weird nar narrative, but I kind of like it. I don't like when it's normal, and this was awesome. Well, I had I had a feeling of um, it was going to be the South ones, where we've got Texas, we got uh, in Nevada and Arizona and stuff like that. So I'm kind of not surprised over which states it actually was, but I kind of was surprised that it was so specifically some towns in that state, and yeah. So we're talking about 37 degrees Celsius, which is about 100 uh, Fahrenheit, all the way up to 118 Fahrenheit, which is about 30, 47 degrees Celsius. And that's almost 50 degrees Celsius, which is halfway with the boiling point. And we have 30 in Sweden, and we are swelting completely. I wonder, I want to try it though. I mean, I, I, I'm being told that don't come to United States during, um, during summertime, especially if you're going to go down to the southern parts of, tech, uh, of America, like Texas, of course. But I really want to try it. How would my body react to about 47 degrees Celsius? Yeah. Incredible. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to smack the like. And, of course, hit that subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ricky. You. Stay safe.